I did want to just spend a bit more time on the use of language yeah. um, because you said uh, we, we, we struggle with terminology, but that must be from both sides because oh, yeah. a, a patient, if, if that's the right term, um, will have their own opinion on how they want to be described, whereas yeah. we practitioners may be pussyfooting around wondering what is a sensitive thing to say, and yeah. they won't all be as candid as you about yeah. their, their mental health background. Yeah, I, 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 the, the short answer is there is no simple consensus. You know, there, is, there, are no, there is no perfect language that will work with everybody. The, yeah. the most sensible way is to, is, to, is to ask people how they would describe themselves and how they would describe their experiences. Because you know, how, how we relate to our, uh, our mental health is, is a highly personal thing, and how we yeah. choose to describe that um, is important. I mean, for, for, for most, of, uh, most of the people watching and listening to this, uh, they won't be doing it in a psychiatric context. So it's, mm. it's, it's, it's more important for them to feel comfortable talking to the person in front of them in whatever yeah. language is, is, is appropriate and, and useful yeah. for them yeah. than making sure they get the psychiatric diagnosis or the psychiatric language yeah. right or wrong. Broadly yeah. speaking, uh, people will be used to um, maybe dealing with people who are in a state, a, a state of distress, a state of discomfort, and the most important thing is to put people at their ease. And one of the ways of doing that is just asking people how you know, they would describe themselves and their, their circumstances. Um, yeah. you know, not everyone will describe themselves as mad. Not everyone will describe themselves as crazy. Um, I've chosen to do that because I, I want to encourage people to talk about mental health. From our point of view, it's not something that you should be embarrassed about. Uh, and... You know, if, if people take away anything from today, it's about creating a culture in which it's okay to talk mm. about your mental health, your madness, your however you want to frame it in the way that you're mm. comfortable with, and, and to not make that a barrier to just you know. To, yeah. to, to well, talk it might about it might it. not be entirely facetious <laughs> to say that we're all somewhere on that spectrum. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. It's just a question of degree.